Maria and Lucy Almer were born on January 16, 1997, in Gloucester, England, to parents David and Jane Almer. Both parents came from different ethnic backgrounds, which played a role in the skin color of the twins. However, it was incredible to discover that one baby inherited strong genes from the mother and the other baby inherited strong genes from the father. Due to the fact that Lucy and Maria are non-identical twins who were conceived from distinct eggs, they did not acquire all the exact same DNA. It was entirely by chance that the twins ended up with their respective skin tones. When Lucy was a little older, she spoke about her mother in an interview with the British newspaper The Daily Mail. It came as such a shock to her because things like skin color do not show up on prenatal scans until after birth, so she had no concept how drastically different we were from one another. She was completely speechless when the midwife handed us both over to her. Donna chose to dress her daughters in identical clothing, as do the majority of mothers of identical twins. Most strangers were perplexed by this because it was very clear that the girls were not related in any way, or so they assumed. Even at such a young age, they didn't appear to be identical twins. In fact, they didn't even appear to be from the same family, let alone identical twins. So how did their younger siblings appear? The twins' older brothers, George, 25, and Jordan, 23, have light brown complexion tones, similar to their sisters. China, the twins' older sister, is 24 years old and has the same complexion as the boys. China is the twins' older sister. Lucy, on the other hand, has skin that's pale white and exceedingly fair. Maria's room is really dark. Lucy is frequently questioned if she's an adopted child. Our siblings and sisters have skin that's in the middle between Maria's and my skin. We're at polar opposites of the spectrum, and everyone else is somewhere in the middle of it. However, my grandma has a very fair English rose complexion, which is similar to mine, Lucy explained to a reporter from the Daily Mail when she was almost 18 years old. So, apart from the skin, what else is different? In comparison to Maria, Lucy has a blue-green hue to her eyes, while Maria's are dark brown. Lucy's stunning natural red hair gives her an almost Irish appearance. Maria's hair is a tangle of thick black curls that she wears down her back. It adds to the fascination with jeans. I used to cry about it, Maria confessed. I despised the way my curly hair looked. In addition, Lucy despised her pale skin. During middle school, she was teased and ridiculed for having such a pale skin color. They assumed I was adopted and referred to me as a ghost, she added tears streaming down her face as she recorded the Inside Edition video interview. Even though we were in the same class, no one had any difficulty identifying us apart. It's common for twins to switch identities, but there was no way Maria and I could ever do anything like that, Lucy said of Maria and her sister. Unfortunately, the twins were unable to take advantage of one of the most amusing privileges of being a twin, fooling their teachers. So what were the other twin things that they were missing out on? Upon being questioned if they shared any psychic ties, the girls responded that they did not, but that they did occasionally have the same bodily aches in the same locations at the same time. Wow, that's really nice. Since she grew older, Lucy has revealed that because her hair is naturally curly and she dislikes how unpredictable it is, she's begun to straighten it, in part because it's so uncontrollable. She's no longer a curly-haired beauty. It was never ringlet curly like Maria's, but she prefers to have the option if she wants it that way. When the girls were around seven years old, they requested that their mother discontinue the practice of giving them identical clothes. We don't have a similar appearance. Why should we all have to wear the same thing, you might wonder? Lucy shared her thoughts. She acknowledged that she didn't feel like a twin. In other words, how do the girls appear now that they're dressing differently and are about to join college? Well, say hi to the twins, who are 18 years old. This is where they may show off their individual style as well as the hairstyles and makeups that best accentuate each of their gorgeous physical characteristics. If you didn't know they were related, you'd never realize they were sisters. They have very distinct personalities and prefer completely different styles. A large number of breathtaking photographs were taken in preparation for their recent interviews. It's evident from these photographs that the twins have completely different perceptions of style from one another. Lucy prefers darker, edgier appearances, and she has a large number of piercings. Maria prefers to dress in more conservative attire. She also likes the boho vibe as well as street fashion. What about their personalities, do you think? Lucy, Maria's sister, has admitted to Inside Edition that she's significantly more outgoing than her sister, 
but that Maria has become more outgoing as the two of them have grown older. Lucy, on the other hand, is reserved. I enjoy meeting new people, Maria remarked, adding that she's not afraid to approach strangers. Lucy, on the other hand, said that she was terrified of approaching unknown individuals. Then Lucy said that they used to be estranged. The link between Maria and I would have been stronger if we had looked similar or even identical when we were small, Lucy said, adding, but Maria and I had such different personalities as well. She was the outspoken twin, where I was the introverted twin. I explained, is this a result of the fact that we don't look alike? Their physical appearance, fashion taste, and personality were so dissimilar that the girls believed they would have had more in common if they were identical twins. So, you might be thinking, are they closing up shop right now? Now that we're older, even though we still appear to be very different, the link that exists between us has grown much stronger. Both best friends and sisters, they've grown to appreciate their differences as well as the wonderful attention and reaction they've received as a result of their tale, which has now been told around the world. What's the general opinion of the rest of the world towards them? Most twins appear to be peas in a pod, Lucy explained, adding, we couldn't look any more different if we tried. She went on to say, we don't look like we have the same parents, let alone being born at the same time. She says that this is exactly what the majority of people believe. The majority of people do not believe the twins when they claim that they're related to each other. Even some of their closest friends are having difficulty believing them. Maria recounted Inside Edition the story of how one of her friends happened to see her interview and later questioned her. Are you really a twin? Maria laughed and said, yes, I am. Does that look like your sister? Her friend didn't believe her when she told her the first time. She told her. She had to wait till she saw it on television before she could see it. As for their college plans, they weren't sure what to do since they were no longer together. Lucy's a student of art at Gloucester College, and Maria's a law student at Cheltenham College, where they met. The young ladies are now happy and glad to tell their tale. Lucy said Maria likes telling people at college that she has a white twin, and I'm extremely proud of having a black twin, Lucy said, adding that the young women are now happy and proud to tell their story. They've chosen to attend different institutions in order to follow their individual passions, but they enjoy spending time with one another and seeing their friends' reaction while at university. According to Lucy in her interview, no one ever thinks we're identical twins. We don't even appear to be sisters, let alone twins, even when we dress in the same manner. Our friends have demanded that we produce our birth certificates as proof, she explained. However, they stated that it's quite amusing when people make an attempt to comprehend and do not become furious as a result. Despite the fact that they're diametrically opposed to one another, these lovely, bright young women bring a vibrant sense of dynamic friendship with them wherever they go. You could easily mistake them for models because they're both quite tall and slim. It's comforting to know that no matter where their lives take them in the future, they'll always have each other's support. Because of their experiences growing up and dealing with acceptance, they both understand how vital their relationship is. As Maria noted, as we've become older, even though we still appear so different, the closeness between us has grown much deeper, despite their physical differences. The fact that people, including their friends, are still skeptical about their relationship does not prevent them from announcing their relationship with pride to everyone they meet. Maria is very proud of the fact that she has a white twin, and I'm very proud of the fact that I have a black twin, Lucy remarked. We're interested in what Maria and Lucy have in store for the future. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video in social networks. We'll be right back to you as fast as we can.